Good day everyone, you welcome to the YouTube channel of your Revival in Teacher episode 1. And the purpose of this video is to teach you the path of the body, the path of the goal, and the general introduction of the body. So firstly, I'm going to be talking about the violin itself. This is the violin. This is a fiddle instrument in which it evolves during the Renaissance period. And it's the smallest of the strings family, which we have the viola, the cello, and the double bass. And it's comprised of four strings in which we have E, E, A, D, and G, in which they are being tuned in perfect fit interval. It means from G to D, you have a perfect fifth interval. From G to A, you have a perfect fifth interval. From A to D, you have a perfect fifth interval. Now, I'm going to be talking about the part of the body. This is the head of the body, and it's called head or scroll, followed by the pegs. This is the tiny pegs. We have the peg box, followed by the knots. We have the fingerboard. This is the neck of the body. We have a rib. This is a belly. And this is the sound pole. This is where the sound of the volume is coming from. And inside it, we have the sound pole, followed by the bridge. And here is the tailpiece. And this is the adjusters. And here is the chin rest. And this is the end pain. And lastly, we have the back of the body. So now I'm going to be talking about the part of the bow. This is the bow. It's an integral part of the body as we have on the viola, the cello, and the double bass, except when you're going to be plucking the string. So this is the main wooden body of the bow. It is called a stick. So followed by the grip, the grip, and the ears of the frog. So we have the screw, which is used to adjust the ear of the bow. So here is the air of the ball. So thanks so much for watching the video and catch me on the next episode where I'm going to be talking about the carrying of the violin, the your left hand position and the proper way of holding the ball.